You know, right, remember your mum's cooking when you was a kid? Your mum. Because we lived on a massive council estate when I was a kid. We, had a, we lived in a flat and we had like a, a serving hatch. That was meant to be really posh. I liked it when your mum used to pass everyone's food through. She'd pass everyone's food through, then she'd pass hers through and then fucking walk round. <laughs> Had a lift, the lift, the lift was just a fucking public toilet, you know? Had a sign in the lift, in the event of being trapped, call this number. It doesn't say trap where though, you could just ring up and go, hello, I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> Get me out! <laughs> but your mum, your mum would be in there cooking stuff in the kitchen through the serving hatch. It was like watching a really crap cookery show, you know, ready, steady, fucking burn, you know? <laughs> and just cat sprouts. We're the only people that eat sprouts. The only nation in the fucking world that eats sprouts. Go to any other country and ask for sprouts. They go, sprout? I know not what you mean now. <laughs> sprouts, fucking hell. They don't even eat them in Brussels. <laughs> <laughs> Deceiving sprouts, aren't they? They're like little bags of compressed air. You eat them at Christmas, fucking watch out. <laughs> it's like taking the pin out of a fucking hand grenade and swallowing it. It's like ping, poo, poo. <laughs> Leave the room, love. Leave the room. <laughs> it's gonna go big time. <laughs> Even the Christmas tree's like that. <laughs> Lethal there. But your mum would be in there cooking. There was always loads of steam around when your mum was cooking. Steam! I think that's why old people shrink, because they still fucking boil everything. <laughs> no, you ever look at them in the town centre, they walk up the street like that. <laughs> but their fucking trousers are up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've pulled. <laughs> I shouldn't have a go at old people. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I, I shouldn't. Like, young people and old people are always having a go at each other, like teenagers and pensioners. But actually, you know what? They're very similar. For instance, they're both taking loads of drugs. <laughs> you wouldn't trust either of them with your fucking car. <laughs> and little old grannies and teenagers are very similar. They've got loads of the bum fluff. <laughs> They should change that advert, Gillette, the best your fucking nan can get. <laughs> you know <laughs> and they're saying young people and old people are useless. No one will employ them. Well, fucking B&Q do. <laughs> That's all they employ in there. You go in there and ask for something. One can't read it, the other one forgot what you just said. <laughs> Loads of teenagers they employ in there. Loads of kids. Pus. The pus. <laughs> no, it's like talking to Mount Vesuvius. <laughs> He's gonna blow any minute. He's gonna go. <laughs> and you ask him for something. It's like you disturbed him wanking. <laughs> Excuse me. I never did nothing. I never did nothing. <laughs> and you ask him and they just piss off. You, ne you never see him again. You're like, where the fuck did he go? Excuse me, where's Charlie? Oh, he's at the back, he burst. <laughs> no? <laughs> you ever been queuing up at the tills like that? Saw the have you seen the photographs of the employees at the back of the till? Employee of the month, he's right at the top. You seen him? <laughs> Just make out the top half of a straight jacket. <laughs> Fuck's that? That's all I want for my DIY advice. Look at him. <laughs> I mean, they just gave it to the kid who found the wall with the photo, you know? I'm there! Hooray! Fucking hate shopping. I hate shopping. I don't know about you guys. I fucking hate it. Because now, especially now, because we have to remember all this stuff. You know, like your chip and your pin. And, and, and you spend over 50 quid in a shop now, they're on the phone to the bank. It turns into a game show. <laughs> It's true, the bloke's like that. Now, can you tell me the last line of your address? Now, don't worry about the toaster, the toaster's yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do know this one, I do know this one. I'm gonna have to hurry you, there's other people waiting, please. <laughs> what is it now? You have to remember all this stuff. Your chip and your pin and your mother's cat's fucking maiden's name. <laughs> we don't buy anything anymore, we have to win it. But that don't mean anything anyway, because as soon as you give them your postcode, they know all about us. As soon as you give them those last three little digits, it all comes up on his screen. All the information about you, you know, comes up like that. And he changes in the blood beyond the counter, doesn't he? He goes, ah, ooh. 
fan fucking Dabby Dozy. <laughs> Still dogging on the weekends, aren't we, sir? <laughs> still astonished when you give them your postcode and they tell you your address. It st still freaks us out. As soon as they say it, 22, Cleo Lane, you go, yes! <laughs> How the fuck? <laughs> Bob, come here, do something else, do something else! <laughs> and why do we have to be all precise about our details, their chip and pin and address and all this stuff? But you ask them to be precise and it all gets vague. You know, you give them your chip and pin, but you ask about delivery times and... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> as soon as they get your money in that till, <laughs> when can I have it? Oh! <laughs> that is the big question. <laughs> well, I'm in tomorrow. Yes, but you cannot interfere with the forces of delivery. <laughs> on the phone to the delivery department. When can I have it? Maybe sometime in the morning. <laughs> maybe sometime in the afternoon. <laughs> or maybe not at all. <laughs> Fucking hate vague people. You know, it's like, you ever watch the Antiques Roadshow? The people that present that programme are just... Fu they want to talk, talk, and talk crap to those poor people that have lined up, clutching what they think is a hidden gem from their attic. You can see him in the queue, counting the money, the look on their face. I buy a Ferrari, get shot at a missus, fly to the Bahamas. <laughs> but the expert just wants to talk bollocks. It's an early 18th century piece. You can see the bloke standing there going, yeah, blah, blah, blah. How fucking much is it, sweet boy? <laughs> <laughs> And it's always in nice places. Cheltenham or Cambridge, nice places. I know this is not in like places like Toxteth in Liverpool or Moss Side in Manchester or London's East End. Fucking different show then, isn't it? <laughs> Some bloke standing there holding a DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> Has it been in your family long? <laughs> Why, who's fucking asking? <laughs> It's fucked up anyway. It's all messed up. It's like, you know, when you go on holiday and you get home and you have a look at your letterbox and all those leaflets are sticking out your letterbox from the local pizza delivery place? Thanks for letting all the burglars know we've been a fucking way. <laughs> I hate pizza delivery leaflets. I hate them. Everything on the menu has got an mmm in it. Have you noticed that? It's like pepperoni, mmm, cheese, hot, mmm, spicy. <laughs> What's the mmm bit? I'll tell you what the mmm bit is. That's the noise you make on the bog after you've eaten it. It's like, mmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they, on, the, on those leaflets, they got pictures of the food. It's minimum effort. You can just point to what you want. That's really handy over the phone, isn't it? I like that one. <laughs> I've changed my mind. I have that one. <laughs> Fucking hate junk mail. I hate junk mail. Like, you know when you open your front door and all that junk mail's over your mat? And they've got those prepaid envelopes. Do you know what I do? I shit in it and I send it back. <laughs> No! I put a little note in there. You send me some of your shit, I'm sending you some of fucking mine. <laughs> Will you give some of your <laughs> No! <laughs> it does. No, cos the post is all messed up. Remember when it was so easy, you posted a letter, the post office just went woof and it was away? Not now. They're all different companies. It's like Parcel Force. Parcel Force! Parcel Force! <laughs> Parcel Force, we will get this package to you. Fuck off! <laughs> What's that? Sounds like one of the armed services. <laughs> Have you seen the bloke who gets out of the van? He ain't that, is he? He's like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> They put that little arrow on the side this way up so he knows which way to fucking drop it. <laughs> they give you that they give you that little note. You ever had one of those? Attempted delivery. Attempted delivery? It's not fucking Everest, is it? <laughs> what 
did he get halfway up me drive and go like, ah! <laughs> I'm not gonna make it! <laughs> I love that. Sometimes they leave you that little note. We attempted to deliver this today, but you're out. We'll attempt to deliver it tomorrow when I'm fucking out again. <laughs> but you were out. How does he know where I was? I could have been in the bath. He's telling me where I was. If he knew where I was, he wouldn't he come and give me the fucking bucket. <laughs> and they always come when you're on the bog. Have you noticed that? <laughs> What's the chances? You're waiting all day for the delivery like that. He won't come now. He won't come now. Fuck it, I'll risk it, I'll risk it. <laughs> as soon as your ass touches the rim of that bog. <laughs> now you've got to wipe your ass like the generation games on. Like... <laughs> sign for it. Can you prove who you are? Everyone does this now. Can you prove who you are? You ring the gas board. Can you prove who you are? Yeah, I'm the blower. No, fucking gas! <laughs> Why do they do that? We're not gonna steal their gas. Why well, do you do that? They know where we live. What do you do? Switch the cooker on, cup some gas and start fucking running? <laughs> they say if you walk into your house and you smell gas, do not switch on the light. Why? You can't see it. Why would you want to see it? You don't fart, get a torch and shine it on your ass. <laughs> Can you prove who you are? It's like the bank. You ring your bank and they do the same. Can you prove who you are? We should say to them, Can you prove who you are? Well, the bank, I do I know. <laughs> you know, sometimes the banker call you and go, Can you prove who you are? Fuck you, call me! <laughs> this is all after we've got through. Can you prove who you are? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hang on the phone for 45 minutes. Pressing seven different digits. <laughs> Listen to Lionel Richie, easy on a Sunday fucking morning. <laughs> I was gonna rob your fucking bank. <laughs> you don't get criminals running banks wearing balaclavas and shotguns run up to the till and go, ah, give us all your money. And the bloke behind the counter goes, wait, easy on a Sunday morning. <laughs> I love the security call blokes. You ever seen them stop outside the bank? They're fucking great. You never see the bloke in the van, do you? You just hear this. <laughs> they own that little shutter at the back. Please don't leave me in there. <laughs> and those blokes come out the bank holding those uh, big boxes full of change with those helmets on. And they got those flaps at the back. What the fuck's that? It's like a mud flap. <laughs> Where's he going? Off road with the change? <laughs> <laughs> but I hate phones. You know, if you're on the phone to the bank, phones have taken over our lives. Mobiles. Like, why is, why is it a call on somebody's mobile takes precedence over everything else? You'd be talking to your best friend and they go, wait, got a call coming through. I'll tell you what, call me. But I'm here now. Yeah, but you'll have to go away so I can fit you in and then talk to you. Fuck off. <laughs> it's like, wait, I'm texting. Who are you texting? You. <laughs> it's all fucked up. These are the worst. You ever seen these guys? Bluetooth. Fucking hell. You, they, they'll have it sticking out their, their ear. These guys are going to laugh. Hi there, I don't know if you can see what I got sticking out of my ear. <laughs> Bluetooth, yeah? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what is that? It's like a tusk. <laughs> it's like he's had a fight with the walrus and lost. Hi, my name's Stephen with a PH. I work in IT. Uh, IT? Why? He works in it. What the fuck's it? <laughs> These blokes have got stuff sticking out of every orifice, you know? They have, like Bluetooth, Pager, Pom Piler. Have you noticed it's all hands-free? That's because he needs his hands to fucking do that with. <laughs> oh, I love my gadgets. <laughs> I love me gadgets. <laughs> Fuckers. They're the sort of blokes that kind of go like that. Knock, knock. But they're already in the room. Knock, knock. <laughs> We should go like that. 
punch punch. <laughs> Fuckers they are. <laughs> they got executive toys. You know what? I fucking hate executive toys. You know the two barbarians smashing up against each other? That's for stress. <laughs> Would that fucking, would that ease your stress? You know, if your best friend said to you, oh, I'm so stressed, I've lost my house, my wife, my dog died, he'd go, wait a minute, I can help you out with that one. <laughs> you know, you don't want to. <laughs> I hate these blokes. They say stuff like, check this, yeah, Palm Pilot, for just $9.99, $9.99, $9.99. <laughs> This touchscreen device lets you actually write on the actual screen in your own actual handwriting. <laughs> yeah, let me just get this actual biro and jot that down on this actual piece of fucking paper. <laughs> Billions of pounds of research and they've come up with what the fuck we had in the first place. <laughs> See, when pen and paper was invented, there was only certain people that could write. It's true, monks. They were the only blokes that could write. But you never saw one of those crash like your computer, did you? Working away on a Bible like that. <laughs> I'm serious. Monks, loads of them would sit in rooms copying Bibles. Basically, that was your first photocopier. You know, but you never needed some bloke to come round and repair them, did you? Turn up and go like that. Oh, no. This is a brother. I only do canon. Sorry. <laughs> never needed that. 